now, Fight Club. It is time for our main event of the evening! What? That's not your monsters. <laughs> Both these fighters are two of the absolute best roasters in New York and New Jersey. Once from New York, once from New Jersey. The battle of the tri-state area tonight. I need all the energy you have, Fight Club. What do you say? Are you ready for this main event? Yeah! yeah. Introducing first, he works in a graveyard, so it's ironic that nobody digs his comedy. <laughs> Nick Fear. <laughs> women for not liking the same bands as him. <laughs> Stephen Bowles! <laughs> Did you hire these people? Who the fuck are these people? Yeah. Yeah, I specifically said, let me get somebody who's never seen boobs before to be in the crowd tonight. Yeah, these are not the first tits you want to see, dude. No, not by a long shot. He's only yelling at a dudes also. What the <laughs> First round of this main event is going to be four jokes, tip for test. It's going to be a three round battle. We'll go to our judges in between for feedback, but we're going to pick a winner overall after all three rounds. Steven, Nick, which one of you guys wants to go first? I'll go first. Steven's going first. Ah. Oh, yeah. Nick is going second. Four jokes, tip for tat. This main event starts now. Uh, I'm really excited for this fight. This is the first time I've battled someone that looks more trans than I do. <laughs> he looked like the girl that used to have a dragon tattoo. I'm actually, I'm really happy Steve showed up for this. I know how hard it is to get your shift covered busting tables at the medieval times. To be here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Nick is also a magician who can make anyone disappear with his magic words. Did you know that restraining orders actually expire? It's important information to know. Did you write that down, all of you? Uh, <laughs> don't know. <laughs> um, I'm actually really happy to see Steve. I haven't seen him in forever. Actually, the last time I think I saw you it was last January on TV when you were stealing a podium from the Capitol. <laughs> I wish. Still got more TV credits than you. All right. Uh, Nick is almost 40. He's a failed actor, failed musician, failing comedian, but makes his money digging graves. Not a joke. It's really how he makes money. Probably got a lot of practice burying his dreams. <laughs> work is work. Speaking of work, uh, so Steve, you, he does task rabbit for a living. So if you don't know what task rabbit is, let's say one of you needs a bed put together, you call one guy. Well, you need a shelf put up, you call another guy. But if you need someone to headbang uh, while watching tentacle porn, you call Steve. <laughs> I see him. Happy to do it. Uh, Nick, you look like you called out of work sick when that guy from Lincoln Park killed himself. <laughs> R.I.P. Chester Bennington. Can I, can I point out that he's used that joke on two other comics on these rows before? <laughs> You're the first one it actually applies to. I'm sorry. That was, it fits you the best, right, bro. Calm down. Look, Listen. Nick, Nick, in the end, it doesn't even matter. Yes! I'm trying hard! Oh, my closer! Can I do my last one, God damn it? Jesus Christ, if you're here, who's selling whippets at the Renaissance Fair? <laughs> I guess now he's one step closer. Yeah, good for him. Holy shit, Fight Club, what an amazing first round. Give it up for this main event. <laughs> We're going to go to our judges. We'll start Patrick Haggerty, Goofball, what did you think after the first round? Wow, what would you think of that round, you bunch of retards? Come on! This crowd is ruckus. I like this crowd. I like this crowd. A bunch of homos, a bunch of retards. This is great. Uh, this is a great fight. It's a great uh, great main event where this, this night's getting going. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I think they're both doing great. But it, honestly, it feels like a tie so far. So uh, I'm gonna, it's going to be a tie for me. No, so. Patrick. Patrick fucking loves ties. <laughs> Dave Sheehan, your thoughts after round one. 
Good start. I like how Nick is just like feeling out the room, roasting the, the crew, uh, and asking that guy out there if he uh, if he's writing this down. He's not literate. He's not writing anything down. <laughs> um, this pouch is uh, clearly sponsored by Baja Blast. Uh, it's fun, though. A lot of good stuff. Uh, it's like watching an argument at Guitar Center. I'm looking forward to round two. Big dog Mark Henley, your thoughts so far? Uh, a big component of winning the roast is to uh, listen to the crowd reactions, win the crowd over. So I think the big thing you guys can do is loosen up your pants. They are entirely too tight for this crowd, and it is very much bothering them. Also, the way you guys were yelling, uh, show us your tits at Steven, it made me think that you maybe have never seen a man with long hair before. Like, you guys were unsure if he was a man or a woman, but I think this has been a great battle. I think we should keep this going. We are going to keep this going. What do you say, Fight Club? Are you ready to keep this going? <laughs> Round two is four jokes straight through. We started with Seaman last time. Going to start with Nick now. Round two starts now. Here we go. So, Steven is married, right? Yep. Yeah. And uh, his, his wife is from Spain, and her name is Peppa. Uh, but he calls her Pepper, it's his little pet name for her, because that's what she sprayed him with the night that they met. Keep going, Nick, you got to leave. All right, yeah. so they do this cute thing where she'll post a thirst trap, and then Steve will post like the same thirst trap, right? Like she'll wear a pretty dress, and then he'll wear a pretty dress. She'll cover her boob with her hand, he'll cover his boob with her hand. She'll take a photo uh, crying to the police while they restrain Steven. And you get it, you can put it together. <laughs> actually, I sat down with him last week before this for lunch, and uh, I'd actually never met her before. I've also ne never met a person from Spain, so I don't know if it's a cultural difference or what. Do all Spanish women uh, blink SOS and Morse code to me when they're eating? <laughs> yeah. One more. He always jokes that his, his wife is the breadwinner of the household, and she makes all the money. Uh, but I mean, that's not really fair because it's like family money because he keeps upping her ransom. Let her go! What else do you want? Let her go! 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 All right. I love that. That was great. Yes, she does post her thirst traps to Instagram, which is better than what your wife does, which is just send them directly to other dudes. Uh, Nick is married also, but describes their relationship as on again, off again. Which is funny, you'll commit to a butthole surfer tattoo on your elbow, but not your wife on a finger. <laughs> I don't know, like, like I said, we just met recently, so we don't know a lot about each other, so I know the only thing we have in common is never seeing his wife. <laughs> Nick was an extra in the movie School of Rock, that's true. Uh, now he's just an extra in his marriage. <laughs> All right, last one. Uh, Nick plays the banjo, which, like him, is best known for its background work in rapes. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? All right, god damn. Fight Club, yeah. give it up for Nick and Steven. <laughs> I like that Nick's marriage and Steven's jokes are both on and off. <laughs> yeah, right. What the fuck? We are going to go to our judges after round two. Mark Henley, what are your thoughts? Uh, I think Nick is pulling away from this one. Steven, I think you guys step it up. Also, uh, Nick, if you need someone to talk to after the show about your marriage, uh, I'm your friend and I'm here for you. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Now, Mark's just going to ask you a bunch of questions about what it was like to be on the set for School of Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Did you meet Jack Black? I caught him when he staged it. It's the closest Nick's ever come to hanging out with a black guy. <laughs> Being on set with Jack Black. <laughs> Dave Sheehan. Uh, to quote a great American audience member, damn! <laughs> um, good fight, I agree. It's I you were going to ask them to show them your tits. <laughs> well, I'd be the only one that hasn't happened yet. Um, I lean in, yeah, how are you doing, sir? Um, I, I agree it's coming a little bit more toward Nick now. Um, this is kind of like watching Dwight and Jim in a parochial school adaptation of The Office. But uh, yeah, it uh, could go either way, but I'm leaning toward Nick right now. Patrick Haggerty, your thoughts. Uh, I think this crowd is going to murder all of us. <laughs> I, I, think, I think that might take... I, uh, Nick, Nick, uh, Nick pulled away in that round. For, for right now, it's a really strong tie for me, but, uh, but I, I think there's a good chance for it to, for it to change. Uh, but we'll, we'll see as we go forward. You guys don't know Patrick. Booing him is just going to make him call every single thing a tie for the rest of the night. But Fight Club, we are going to go to the final round of this main event. We are going to pick a winner. What do you say? Are you ready for round three of this main event? 
Poor jokes, tip for tat, starting with Steven. Round three starts now. I guess everybody in this bitch is in an open relationship. I'm sorry, I didn't know making fun of the marriage was gonna do that. Let's try something different. Let's switch gears. Nick, you look like the only thing stopping you from buying fentanyl is spelling it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, Tough. He's got a Y in there. Steven's hair is so long. How long is it? About shoulder length. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, give it up for Jimmy Eats World of Dick. Alright? <laughs> you look like the basis for a cover band called Newfound Glory Hole. <laughs> Thank you, the ghost of Ryan Dunn. Uh, <laughs> Yo! Steve. Yo! Ah! Actually, recently you chopped off like a foot of your hair, right? He cut off a lot of it, and he wanted to donate it to Locks of Love. But when Locks of Love found out that he's a southern white guy that talks like a black dude, they demanded he uh, donate it to Locks of Hate. <laughs> I don't know the fuck you talk about, homie. All right. Uh, again, thank, thank you. Very, give it up one more time for Young Voldemort, everybody. Uh, Nick is a big fan of the Clash, not the band, just his age and how he dresses. <laughs> I mean, listen, I actually, I'm a little bit older than Steve and I actually work at the Hot Topic. I worked at the Hot Topic that him and his mom used to come into all the time. I remember young Steve, he's like a young, chubby kid with long hair and a Slipknot t-shirt. I just remember looking at him and smiling and just being really grateful that my parents were still married. <laughs> Last year. All right, if you wanted to dig yourself in a hole, you could have just gone to work tonight, all right? <laughs> okay, I'm ending it there, fuck it. Yeah, there we go, I got my lap, there we go. Uh, Steve, Stephen Bowles, everybody. Woo. Stephen Bowles? Woo. Stephen Bowles? What's this guy's middle name? Toilet? <laughs> Some Bo Burnham bullshit right there. What the fuck was that? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Give it up for the last time we ever let Nick Fierro on the show! <laughs> Seriously, a fucking great main event. Give it up for Nick and Steven. We'll go to the judges. Starting with you guys, Fight Club. This is going to be tough. Clap for who you think is the winner. Do you think the winner of this main event after all three rounds is Steven Bowles? Or is the winner of this main event? Nick Fierro! <laughs> Proud vote goes to Nick Fierro. Mark Henley, what do you think of the not so hot topic battle? <laughs> uh, I, so I thought coming out of round two, I thought Nick was winning, and I told Steven, you gotta step it up. And then Nick did a bunch of things you guys all found real unlikable. Uh, but this type of. You guys don't seem to like the real dumb ones, like the throwing of the, uh, the, the confetti and stuff, but I love that shit, and this is my vote. Nick, I think you won this one tonight. Another vote for Nick Fierro, uh, Captain Dickard, Dave Sheehan. So it could have like been either Captain of us. Picard, but he's like masturbating and stuff. <laughs> they can see under the table. That Star, yeah, Star um, Trek Last Generation. <laughs> I'm just going to assume that when you and your family went and bought stuff from him at Hot Topic that you tried to pay in moonshine. I have to, this is probably the only time in history that somebody screamed the, world, the word toilet and then hurled glitter. That was one of the many wonderful things about the way that ended. I love the dig your whole line at the end. It was kind of too little too late. Um, I, I got to give it to Nick. Very nicely done. You Another vote for Nick Fierro. Yeah, we are, we are a progressive show here at Fight Club. We throw confetti and only tell men to show us their tits. <laughs> It's wrapped up, next guy to the W, with Patrick Haggerty, your uh, thoughts. Now, before uh, the, the show started, Nick actually said to me, I don't think I have any jokes. Uh, so, so he did pretty good for that, right? Come on, give it up for that, right? No, he did, that was great. That was a, that was a great battle overall. Uh, now, I would have said this just to make everyone mad, but I actually think it ended in a tie. So, uh, I'm just gonna... <laughs> 
I, I think Steven edged out the tie slightly. Uh, I think... Uh, I, Steven, I, Steven edged out the tie a little bit. Right, just a little bit. Right. But, but really, It is I, a tie. It's still but, a tie, but Steven edged out the tie just a little bit. But uh, three votes went to Nick Fierro, so get Fight Club, give it up for your winner, Nick Fierro! <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> Those nachos are great, so are the wings and the mozzarella sticks. Guys, get the appetizers here at Janela Theater. 